How would you like to make an extra $25 per day just by using Google Maps? Well, I'm gonna show you everything right on this video. More and more people come onto the internet to find local businesses, okay? A lot of us don't even use phone books anymore. We don't, I don't even look in the yellow pages. I think the last time I got a phone book, I just threw it out on the trash. But uh, this can be anything, guys. People come onto the internet to look for restaurants, hardware stores, uh, hobby shops, you know, plumbing services, dentists, chiropractors, right? And the list goes on and on and on. Well, how would you like to have these local businesses send you monthly payments for driving traffic to their websites, okay? Because most local businesses do not have the capital or the know-how to run a marketing department. So this is where you come in. And they can do this for a fraction of the cost. You can set up and run ads for them. So I'm gonna explain everything right on this video. The first step you are going to do is go over to Google, you know, you could type in Google Maps to find the maps. And then so you're going to search in your local area, your local city. Okay, so Portland is a city near me. So what I will do is just come over here. In this example, I, uh, I'm going to use the search term Italian restaurant Portland, Oregon. But you can put anything that you want. You can put dentists, you can put a, a chiropractor, whatever that you want. Okay, so I'm going to use Italian restaurants. And so for this example, I found this Italian restaurant just out of random. Uh, it's called Just a Pasta Co. And uh, so what I did is I clicked on this and then I got their information here. Uh, it's going to give the address, the phone number and everything. But also in most cases, they will have their website listed underneath this information. So right here, there is a website here called justapasta.com. So that's great. I'll make sure to open up their website so I can see it right here on, th on this page. After this, what I will do is I will see if they are paying for ads, okay? Uh, if, they're, if they have any paid traffic sources. Because if they don't, then I wanna be the guy. I wanna approach them and say, hey, how would you like an extra 100 clicks or 100 people to see your website and your business every single day? I mean, what would that do? You know, you know, how would that impact your business? Well, here's the first thing that I'm going to do is go over to a website such as semrush.com and I will leave links below for all of the websites that we're gonna talk about on this video. And what you're gonna do, I think they'll give you like 10 free searches, um, but what you're gonna do is up here in the search box, just type in the domain name of the website. So in this case, this is justapasta.com. So then I will just enter that domain name click on search, and that's going to give me some results. So it's gonna tell me like roughly on average, maybe like how much traffic they are getting per month with the organic search. But most importantly right here, it's going to say paid search. And for this website, it says zero, okay? And it's also gonna give me some backlink information, but the paid search is the most important part because you can approach this whole thing as you know, you can go to them and say, you know, how would you like to have your search listing up on the very top of Google and I will manage everything for you. Just as an example, here is uh, for dentists in Portland, Oregon, you can see that there are several different ads up here and a lot of people don't even know these are ads. Uh, of course, Google has changed it not too long ago. Uh, it just used to be, you know, yellow, but now they have a little ad icon. Uh, giving you kind of an indication that, that it's an ad, but people still click on these, which is much better than going to Google and typing in something and then just seeing this, you know, Google map results here, uh, you know, which is kind of interesting because if I go over to Google and I type in like Italian restaurants, let's go ahead and do that. Italian restaurants, uh, restaurants Portland, well, when I do that, I don't see any results for uh, Just a Pasta, which is this company right here. I mean, you really have to dive in. I have some Google Map listings right here, but I also have, hey, 15 Primo Italian restaurants in Portland, Oregon. You know, I, I just keep scrolling and scrolling and I don't see their business. Even if I come over here and click on more places to view the map results, I mean, I'm just going through here and I still don't see their business listed. It's just not coming up 
in the first listing on, on Google. So that's kind of like the sales point on how I would approach things is to say, hey, how would you like to be up on the top so people would see your listing so you can get more traffic, okay? So now there's some other different ways on how you can see if they are getting paid traffic uh, also through Facebook. Now, because a lot of businesses are running Facebook ads. Well, how do you know if they are running ads from Facebook? Well, an easy way to know this is to install a Chrome extension called Facebook Pixel Helper. So when you go to a website such as post, you know, just a poster or whatever website it is for the business, it's going to tell you and give you an indicator in the browser that if there's a pixel or a Facebook pixel on this website. So you know if they're already driving ads because you know you don't wanna call the company and say, hey, you know, um, do you have somebody running ads for you and all this and you know, and then they might say, yeah, we already have somebody that does that, but thanks anyway, you know. <laughs> you kinda wanna do all your homework first. You just wanna make sure maybe they don't know anything about it or even the possibilities of, of, of what could happen through paid traffic. You can educate that, educate that to them so, and now if you guys don't have any experience doing this, what you can do is you can go over to Fiverr and just type in Bing ads or type in Google AdWords or Google ads or just type in Facebook ads and you can find people that can manage your ads for you. They will set up a campaign, they will set up your ads, do your titles, do your keyword research for you for like as little as 10 to $35. Now this is great to get you up and running, but then I would recommend at least going on to maybe like YouTube or taking a small course, learning how to, to run ads and set up ads with Bing or Google. And what you guys would do if you do not have an ad account, then you can just go right over to uh, Google and type in Google ads. It used to be called Google AdWords, but they've changed it uh, since then. Uh, but now it's called just Google ads and you can sign up for a free account and start creating ads and driving traffic to these different websites. Uh, you can also go over to Bing Ads and set up a free account. Uh, Bing, Bing is also a huge search engine. I even think that Bing is installed by default when people buy Windows computers or PCs. Uh, I think that the Bing Ads, if they're using the Microsoft browser, ex the Explorer browser, Bing is, is the default browser or the default search engine so this is still a very, very popular search engine and you can post ads with Bing and get tons of traffic. Uh, you can also send tons of traffic to different local businesses. So you can also use the uh, Facebook ads business manager. I will leave a link for this down below in the description of this video. If you do not have an ad account for Facebook, you can simply just go over there and set up a free account as well, okay? So those are some ways on how you guys can do this. Another website for spying on websites to see if they have paid traffic. What you can do is go over to SpyFu. So this is just another way you guys can just dive in and get a little bit more kind of like behind the scenes information about different websites and where their traffic is coming from. You know, what what is the traffic source? You know, what is the SEO like? And are they optimized for the search engine? Because that can be another, another service that you can do. But it says right here, it's uh, for paid search, there is just no paid keywords and or anything like that. So that's great. I would approach this company and say, and say, hey, you know, how would you like an extra 100 clicks or 100 people to go to your website every day? If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'll manage everything for you. Just let me know, okay? So let me go ahead and do some math here real quick. Uh, let me just bring up the calculator. So what you guys would do is you would just charge them a monthly fee to manage everything. Okay, so for just one client, you can charge them maybe somewhere around 500 bucks, $350 on the lower side. If you are just a beginner until you gain more experience, you can you know start charging those higher fees. But let's just say it's on the lower side, maybe around $350 is what you will tell them to manage everything. And of course, to be honest, it really doesn't take that much work to manage an ad account. Uh, so what you can do is you can go out there and get like, 15 clients in your local area, okay, and charge them about $350 each. So just doing the math here, 350 times 15 clients, you know, that's a little bit over $5,000 a month, okay? So you can see how powerful that is. And when you guys get better, you can start ramping this up to maybe around $500 a month, okay? That's gonna be, let's go ahead and uh, just type this in here. Let's say about 20 clients. If you worked really hard and you guys got like, 20 clients, uh, that could be like $10,000 a month, 
okay? Now, in, in a whole year's time, I'm sure you guys can get plenty of clients doing this. There are so many people, they don't understand how to do ads. They don't know this whole internet thing. They only understand their business, their local business, whatever they're doing. If they're do, you know working with food, if they're a dentist, if they're into plumbing or, or um, you know electrician type business, that's all they know. And it's just too expensive. And it's better just to have a local friendly guy just to show up and say, hey, I'll take every take care of everything for you. You don't have to have a marketing department which costs thousands of dollars. You don't have to pay anybody per hour. I'll just do it per month with a simple flat fee. And that's it, okay? So think about this. Hope this inspires you to really do something and take action. It's a great way to make some extra income online. And it's very, you know, very low labor here we're talking about okay guys so this is not something you, you got to grind it out this is passive income for you